Good morning guys, I'm back in my kitchen at home, you guys are in the studio, but I've got a great recipe for you, lamb. We're going to roast the lamb in the oven outside, I'm going to put some garlic and rosemary through it, it's going to be absolutely beautiful, but that's not it, we're going to turn that into these nice little mini individual pitta pockets. So I've got a nice yoghurt dressing to go in there, a little bit of salad and of course that lamb in there, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Check in with me a little bit later and I'll show you just how to do it. We've got lamb on the menu, we're going to roast it and we've got this beautiful leg here. Look at that, it looks absolutely fantastic. You know, we're in New Zealand, this is what we love over here. I'm going to show you how to get lots of flavour into that in a minute. So you can cook this recipe and serve it as a Sunday roast, like a whole lamb leg if you want, or what we're going to do is we're going to roast it on the bone, we're going to let it rest and we're going to carve it off and we're going to make these little pitta pockets of lamb. We're going to make a nice tzatziki here with yoghurt and mint and cucumber little bit of toasted cumin in there as well and we've got a nice salad as well to go in there so cook it in the oven or you can take it outside and cook it in the barbecue what we're going to do is to maximize the flavor on here get a sharp knife and we're going to start just making some little incisions just randomly into the flesh keep going in I'm going to go down about sort of a well, about a centimeter or a little bit more you know take your time but just make sure you've got a really pointed knife and then same on the other side as well you know watch here because you have got a bone that's fine um, but definitely in the flesh side make these great little incisions and the reason why we're doing little incisions is we're going to fill them with rosemary works really well with lamb and garlic as well so all we want to do is just snap a little bit off and just pop it in okay so you can just go like that and then just randomly Pop them in there, and then garlic, just get a few cloves, just give it a light crush just to release all those oils, just nice thick slices, and then check there's no peel on there, and just push them right in. So we're getting that garlic flavour all the way into the meat, so it's really going to penetrate and give us lots and lots of flavour. You know, it's all going to roast together, the garlic's going to be nice and soft, and as you carve the lamb later, you're going to get these nice little pockets of mushy, sweet garlic. All right, so it's a little bit fiddly, but, you know, it's well worth it. You know, take a spare five minutes and, and really do this stage, you know. It does make the world of difference. Let's get some nice olive oil and be really generous with this, you know, this is going to give us lots of flavour. You can do, use a nice olive oil, just a plain one, or I like to use a chilli one, you know, extra flavour in there. Or you can use any flavour, you know, citrus ones, rosemary ones, whatever you want. And then you want to massage the oil into the leg, you know, make sure all the legs covered. And this is going to help with browning as well, so you get that beautiful golden uh, uh, brown colour and roasted colour over the whole lamb. And then, nice generous bit of salt. And then we're going to pop some pepper on there as well. And that's it, you know, get it to that stage and then we can pop it in the oven or we can cook it outside on the barbecue or even an outdoor oven. Right, we're outside. I've got a pizza oven here. You know, I've been cooking pizza in there so it's nice and hot, but I don't want to waste all that heat and all that fuel. So I haven't put any more wood in. I've closed the door and it's just sort of regulated that heat. So now I'm going to use all that heat which we've already, you know, got and cook this lamb leg. So we'll have a look inside. You know, we've got a bit of flame there. There's a, there's a little bit of fuel there. And we're just going to slide it in. And we're just going to pop it in there. I'm going to put the door on, close it up, and I'm going to shut the vent down as well. So minimal air is getting in there. So it's just going to keep that nice temperature. You, you want to be looking about 180, 160 degrees, something like that. You know, you can start off with a little bit more heat and then as it dissipates, you want to sort of keep it that steady heat a little bit later. And maybe two hours, two and a half hours, that's going to be beautifully roasted and cooked nice and pink. We'll let it rest and then we can slice it. Right, lamb's in the oven, cooking. Let's get all our garnishes ready. So I've got a nice selection of vegetables for our pockets a bit later, but we're going to make a tzatziki now. So I've got some yogurt. So tip with this, get some really, um, thick yogurt, okay? So, and if it's not that thick, just hang it overnight. Hang it in a little cloth um, or a coffee filter overnight and it'll just take that excess liquid out and it'll make it nice and thick. All right, I've got cucumber as well, which we're gonna pop in there. 
and I've got some cumin seeds. So this is something a little bit different, right? But this works really well with yogurt. So full cumin seeds, I've got a pan on over there. I'm gonna to toast them just for a couple of minutes, just to get them nice and brown. Right, we've got some garlic as well. So a little small clove of garlic, we're just gonna crush and just finely chop and that's gonna give us a great flavor, a great garlic flavor. Works well with the lamb and it goes well with the yogurt as well. So that goes in, put that straight into the yogurt. Got a little bit of lemon as well. Good pinch of salt. Right, let's check our seeds. Look at that, so you can see now, we're starting to get a bit of color there, but I can smell them, you know. As you're toasting them, the smells come out. So that's what we're looking for. I want to grind them up. So I pop them in there. Give them a good grind. And then we'll pour it in. Right, cucumber. So it's up to you now. You can either peel the cucumber if you don't want the green skin on there, or I quite like it. You know, it gives us an extra flavor, and it also, um, you know, gives us a nice bit of color for presentation. But you can see now, I'm just doing a couple of slices on either side, and then I'm flipping the cucumber, and just repeating the whole process until you get to the end. And the reason why we do that is because we're going to take the seeds out, you know. If we chop the seeds and put it through there, it's going to make it really loose and wet and uh, water down all those flavours. So I'm just after, the fre uh, just after the flesh and the texture from the cucumber. And then all we want to do is just give it a nice fine dice. So into some nice slices. And then cut across and you'll get these nice little green slices, uh, green dice. And then we just stir it through our yogurt. You know, so we've got a nice creamy yogurt. We've got that garlic flavor in there. You know, the spice of the cumin coming through. We've got texture of cucumber in there. You know, it's just gonna be absolutely fantastic. And then all we need to do to finish it off is just get some fresh mint and then chop these leaves. So just gonna give it a rough chop. And I'm going to flip it over and chop it just ever so slightly, a little bit finer. So something like that is perfect. That goes in there. Give that a really good stir up. And then what you want to do is taste it. You know, if you need some more salt, add some salt. If you want a bit more, if you want it a little bit sharper, a little bit more lemon juice. Um, you can always add more cumin, but there's plenty in there. You know, it's entirely up to you now. Yep, really good. We've got our yogurt mix there. All we need to do now is a bit of salad and texture and some extra sort of fresh flavors for our pita bread. So I've got a little bit of chili here. Put some onion in there as well to give us a nice fresh crunch. Use red onion or spring onion, don't use white. And uh, we've got some beautiful cherry tomatoes, which we've just chopped up as well. And uh, of course the pita breads, which we'll just throw through the oven last minute. Right, this is the exciting point now. It's ready to build our little pita breads. So just carefully, the tip of your knife, we're just gonna cut in and make a pocket. Okay, I only wanna cut around about halfway. I'm gonna start with a little bit of the yogurt. Always put that in the bottom. And you know, it's up to you how you wanna fill it. But I like to put some tomatoes in now, a little bit of uh, red onion, and a couple of bits of chili in there. Do the same on the other one. You know, get all your vegetables in first and then you can fill it with the lamb. And now it's time to carve. So we've got a bone running through the whole lamb. So you just wanna do some nice thin slices of the lamb. So I like to sort of start here and then I'll keep going down. You know, you can change your angles. But you know, get this nice outside bit as well because you've got this nice crunchy skin on there and you've got the olive oil and the salt and the seasoning um, on that part as well. And then it goes straight into your pita breads. Look at that, let's pack it in. It's been be quite generous. Top it up with a little more tzatziki. I've got some coriander here. Just gonna tear that and I'm just gonna pop that in the top as well. And that lamb's trying to escape. Look at that, fresh lamb, roasted lamb pita breads. You know, we've got that beautiful tzatziki in there, a bit of salad and that lamb. Look at that lamb, these are great. Look, I've built one for Mike and one for Mel. Shame you're not here though, so I get to eat them both. Good morning. <laughs>